It's DK and I'm back. Guess what? Happy New Year! Happy New Year to everybody that is watching this video. I told you guys that I have a one year review on Smoke. If you're new to the channel and you do not know what Smoke is, Smoke is my 2022 Mercedes Benz Sprinter Van 170 wheelbase 2500 with the high roof. Today we're gonna to do a one year review on this baby. I'm gonna tell you guys the pros, the cons, how much I paid for it, and if I think it is a good buy or not. But first, before we get into that, I want you guys to take a look at the outside. It's time for us to slide. The first thing that a lot of people would like to know about the Mercedes Sprinter van is the price. For this particular van, I paid $62,000 for it. Now that's out the door price. That's taxes, title, and registration. Why did I go with the Mercedes Sprinter van versus going with the Ram Pro Master or the Ford Transit? Um, the reason why I went with the Mercedes Sprinter van was because after doing research, we found out that it seems that the Mercedes Sprinter van holds its value longer and it also is a better buy. And I personally found out it was a better buy over the Ford Transit because at the time when we went to the dealership, they were trying to charge $80,000 for the Ford Transit 250 with the high roof. And out the door, you probably would have paid like 87,000. And then we also went to Ram ProMaster and tried to figure out how much that would cost. And that was $52,000. So out the door, you would probably would have paid like 59,000. Now, um, everybody had a preference on which van they like the most. Um, some people do like the Ram Pro Master because um, it's front wheel drive and they say it's easier to drive. But after doing research on that, we also did find out that sometimes the Ram Pro Master has transmission problems because it is front wheel drive and you're carrying all that weight in the back. As far as the Ford Transit, I did hear some good reviews on that, but as far as longevity, for the most part, after doing research, it seems like that one is uh, not going to last as long as the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. And they wanted $87,000 for it. Absolutely not. I would not pay $87,000 for a van. Um, just so you guys know, I'm going to be very transparent with you. We did pay like $3,000 over sticker price for this van. But the Ford Transit, they wanted like, I think like twenty or $30,000 over for that one. And then the Ram Pro Master was actually the right price. So we decided to go with the Mercedes Sprinter van. And that is the reason why. Now, let's go ahead and get into the van maintenance. We currently have 42,477 miles on the van. At 45,000, we will have to go in to get some more maintenance done. So it's every 15,000 miles. With the Sprinter vans, they have two different types of van maintenance. They have an A maintenance and they have a B maintenance. The A maintenance is going to be $210.70. And the B maintenance is going to be $634.89. We have to actually have two maintenances done. So total in maintenance, we have paid $845.59, which honestly is not that bad to me. Now, I know a lot of you are saying that I could have done the maintenance myself. I absolutely agree. But the reason I did not do the maintenance myself is because I want everything documented. Currently, we're still under warranty. And when the warranty is up, we're going to extend the warranty again because I do not want any problems with the dealership. If something goes wrong, I want everything documented. And if I don't uh, go to the dealership and I do it myself, they might say, well, we didn't do this service, so we don't know if you did something wrong or someone else did something wrong. So I just want everything documented. I want to protect myself at all times. I understand that you know, it's going to cost more. It may cost more now, but it's going to cost more in the long run. So that's the reason why I continue to take it to the dealership. Let's go ahead and get into some pros and cons. We're going to start off with lighting and we're going to start off with a con. One of my biggest issues with the Mercedes Sprinter vans is the headlights are just too dim. Now, if you're on the highway, you're not going to notice this because there's street lights on the highway. You're going to be going down the highway and everything is going to be fine. But when you get into those dark roads where there's no street lights, you're going to have issues seeing. To the fact we actually almost hit like one or two deers driving at nighttime. Mercedes should have done a better job with those headlights because that's a big safety risk for me. We may be getting a bar up top. I'm not sure yet. 
But on the pro side, you do have this thing, like once you're about to hit a turn, so say you're about to turn right, it's dark outside, you're about to turn right. When you're starting to turn the wheel, the fog lights come on at the bottom so you can see everything on the floor when you're making your turn. So that's a very good pro to have. Also, they have a lot of good ambient lighting. They have lighting up front in the van and it's easy to see. Like you can turn on the, you can see it's nice and bright. You can see everything you need to see inside the van. Also, when you're on the back and it's, say it's nighttime and you have a load to strap down, they do have a light in the back of the van and it's very bright and you can see perfectly. Another issue we have with the Sprinter van is the seats. This is actually the comfort set and it was absolutely terrible. My back was hurting for like the first week or two when we got the van. Now it does have a lot of different settings, you know, to move the lumbar. You could switch it, like lift this part up or down. Actually have an adjustable thing here. You can move that in and out. Um, you can also lift the seat up or push the seat down. But for the first week, it was absolutely terrible. My back was hurting bad, but we have it set right now. That's the reason why I do not want to bother it. But on the pro side, bingo, it does have heated seats, three different levels. So whenever you're cool, you can go ahead and warm up them buns. Follow <laughs> you <laughs> by hitting this button right here. Now let me list a few more pros for you. Number one, look at that. The door opens all of the way. You don't have to hit any levers or anything. It opens right away, all the way. You open that one. Got that. The next pro is the D rings. The Mercedes Sprinter vans has D-ring galore. There's actually 12 D-rings in here. There are six on each side. So it's six right here. One, two, three, four, five. And that's number six. And then there's six on this side. So you have 12 D-rings in a Sprinter van. You can't beat it. The next pro is the paneling. I absolutely love the paneling. It has a nice, clean look to it. And honestly, customers love to see it because it's nice and clean. The thing that I love about it the most is it prevents you from getting dings on the outside of your van. Have you ever seen those vans with all those little dings on it? It's because they didn't strap down something. They probably turned too fast and then something hit the, hit the, uh, hit the inside of the van and they poked it out on the outside of the van. Another thing that I love about the panel on it is I actually took the panel on out because I, First, I was trying to save it. I wanted it to be all nice and clean and everything. But when I took it out, it was absolutely terrible. It was so loud inside of the van. Everything, you can hear everything, jing, 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 jing. you can hear everything while you're driving down the street. So we actually put it back on and it was one of the best decisions that we ever did. The next thing I'm gonna go into is this bulkhead. This bulkhead will save your life. If for some reason you do not strap down something properly, and it flies up here, it's gonna hit this and not you. I'm sure that they have cases on people actually passing away from not having a bulkhead. So, if you're gonna get a Sprinter van, I definitely recommend that you get a bulkhead. I know that you might not wanna get it because it costs more, but it may save your life. So, make sure you guys get one of these. Also, another great thing about having a bulkhead is it prevents the heat from traveling throughout the entire van. So I do want to be nice and toasty in the van, just turn your heat on, you don't have to worry about the heat pushing all the way back to the back of the van. One more thing that I do love about it is we can actually fit three full pallets in here with no issues at all. Any pallet that is 48 by 40, we can fit three of them in here and we still have a little more room. And that is because we do have the 170 wheelbase. I absolutely love that we made the decision to get the 170 wheelbase instead of the 144. I'm just gonna tell you guys the truth. Honestly, the 144 looks better. Like when you see it driving on the road, it's short and it's stocky, it looks better. But if you wanna haul pallets, I recommend that you get the 170 wheelbase. So I do have a few more cons. This one is kinda irritating. I ain't gonna lie, like especially when it's hot outside. And that is the brake squeaking. It's like one of the most irritating things. So sometimes it doesn't squeak and then sometimes it does squeak. And some other times it squeaks louder than it normally does. I actually got the brakes checked out and they said that everything is fine. But this could be my fault because I don't clean the van as often as most people may do. Um, I have only cleaned the van like one time. Maybe I should get some spray to try to clean the brake dust off. Or maybe when I get the brakes replaced, I do need to get a better quality brake. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I do know that the brakes squeak and it's not very appealing. Now, 
The van also did make a weird noise. When I took it to the dealership, they said they could not get it to duplicate, but I actually have it and here it is. I don't know what it is. Majority of you said you think it's the heat shield. I'm not really sure what it is, but the next time we do get an oil change, I'm actually gonna have them take a look at it for a second time. I do wanna say this. It has not done it since it's been cold outside. It's only like when it's hot outside, so maybe you guys are right. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but we're gonna get to the bottom of it. Now, these may not be problems that everyone else has had with their van, but these are just the cons I have had with mine. We have another excellent pro. This is excellent. I love that they did this on the Sprinter van. That is uh, the 360 camera. I mean, you have multiple different angles. You can see whatever you want to see. You can see right here. Even if you turn the wheel, you can see when the wheel turns. You see how the wheel's going right? See the wheel turn like that? See how it's going straight? They got cameras on every angle of the entire van. You can actually watch them loading everything. You can see what's going on. Sometimes they be bumping the van. So you can see everything that's going on right there. They have that, and then they have that. This is actually a excellent addition that they added to the Sprinter van. They couldn't have done it better. You also can see up to like seven miles per hour. You can see everything around the van still while you are driving. As well as when you put the van in reverse, you see everything that way as well. Let's check it out. There we go, reversing. Reverse, reverse. You see everything you need to see while you're reversing. When you're driving, this is how it looks. It looks excellent. You can see everything. And another thing that I love about it is the camera is crystal clear. You can see a booger in somebody's nose. You can see everything you need to see in the Sprinter van. Now there's something I definitely want to talk to you guys about. And when we first got the van, it was a huge, huge con for us because it was it's something you have to get used to it's it's it's, it's very unique and it's kind of i'm going to be honest it's kind of scary when you're driving and that is the crosswind assist mercedes has a thing called a crosswind assist and if the ran pushes the van a little bit to a certain way it actually locks two of the wheels on the other side so if the wind is blowing this way and the van is getting uh, pushed over a little bit it locks those wheels on that side so it doesn't push it any further. And it's honestly, it's pretty scary. It's like, it's kind of like, it seems like it's traction control, but it's really not. In order for you to understand what I'm saying, you have to have driven a sprint event to understand what I mean. And honestly, it's very scary when you first do it. It's very scary when that wind blowing, it's like, mm, it's like, it's like, it's, it's kind of, it makes that noise, mm, it makes that noise. And then it's like, it's just, and then the van just like kind of shifts a little bit. It's kind of scary, I ain't gonna lie. Especially if you do have a heavy load in the back, it's, it's, it's very, very scary. But you have to get used to it. Once you get used to it, it's no problem at all. Honestly, it's probably a great safety feature that they added to the Sprinter van. So, I did want to let you guys know about that. Now, I have gave you a lot of pros and cons for the Sprinter van. One of the things that I love about this van the most, this is the most important, one of the most important to me, is the way it drives it drives amazing it feels like you're driving a car it does not feel like you're driving a van it drives smooth whether it's heavy loads or non-heavy loads in there it just drives amazing it drives like a mercedes should drive that's one of the biggest pros and it is also well built it's not cheap plastic janky stuff it seems like they took their time building this van and i absolutely love it now the question is if I had to do it over, would I do it again? Would I purchase this van? Honestly, I don't have any complaints. I would definitely recommend if you are into getting a Sprinter van, you should go ahead and pull the trigger. I, I like it. I like it a lot. I really haven't had any issues. Um, everything has been fine. It's it's a great it's a great buy to me to me personally. Um, me, I'm I'm picking a Sprinter van over the Ford Transit as well as the Ram Pro Master. That's my personal opinion. I know others may have their personal opinion, but to me, I like quality. And if you want quality, you're gonna have to spend the money. And honestly, it was, at the time, cheaper than the Ford Transit. So I had to go with this. It was a no-brainer. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The one-year review on our 2022 Mercedes Sprinter van 2500 170 wheelbase with the high roof. We're gonna show you the truth. I hope, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I enjoy making a video for you. If you are not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. I need you guys to get this video to 1,000 likes. This is gonna be a great year. I need you guys to stay tuned and stick around. 
it's going to be a lot of amazing things going on on the channel and we're going to continue to go and grow and y'all already know we here to uh, go in 2024 about to get it popping like Crisco. make sure you guys lock in tomorrow because going back down because we ain't playing around because 2024 y'all already know we about to run up this dough let's go i'll see you guys on the next one we're going we're going we're flowing you already know it's ddk and i'm on my way